Welcome to the video tutorial for um, mass over volume solution concentrations. So mass over volume is written as M over V or weight over volume. And so this is an important um, um, concentration unit. So remember that it's going to be the mass of the solute over the volume of the solution. And so mass over volume, there are not a lot of rules here. We can have any mass unit and any volume unit. And the power here is it lets us know the relationship between the solute and the overall solution. So um, let's, um, let's see if you guys are getting this. Um, which solution is the most concentrated? Okay, so we have the same solute and solvent. So if we look here, if we have 2 grams of solute and 25 mils of solution, we would punch that into our calculator, and we would see that we would have 0 0.08 grams per milliliter. So we would, this would be a mass over volume concentration because we have a mass unit divided by a volume unit. Let's compare this to solution B. Now we have 25 grams of solute dissolved in 120 milliliters of solution. So we punch those values into our calculator and we see that this solution has a 0.21 grams per milliliter. So we can already see that solution B has a higher concentration than solution A. Now let's look at solution C. We have 0.5 grams divided by 25 milliliters. Okay, so now we would have 0 0.02 grams per mil. So the important thing here is we compare the various solutions. <coughs> we have to make sure that we have the same mass and the same volume units to be able to compare the concentrations. Now when we look at D, we have 5 grams over 75 milliliters. So that would be 0 0.067 grams per mil or 0 0.7 grams per mil, if we're paying attention to sig figs. Okay, so, so far, <coughs> now we could see, oh, that was 0 0.07, okay. So, so far, solution B is the highest concentration. And then this last one, 30 grams in 150 milliliters, so we take 30 divided by 150, and we get 0 0.20 um, grams per milliliter. And for sig figs, we would drop it to there. Okay, so now we compare these results, and we see that solution B has ever so slightly the higher concentration, 0 0.21 grams per milliliter. So, um, so this first practice problem is just a very straightforward way that we calculate a concentration. Any mass unit and any volume unit. If we want to compare solutions, we have to make sure that our um, mass and volume units agree. Now let's look at how we um, can use a mass over volume concentration in a calculation. So this first practice was calculating mass over volume. This second practice problem is going to be using mass over volume. All right, so let's look at this question and sort it all out. A sample of blood serum is tested and found to contain testosterone at a concentration of, so this piece right here, this information here, this is our mass over volume. So it's 575 nanograms of testosterone, right, per 
per one milliliter of the blood serum. So the first, to make friends with um, the concentration units, we have to learn how to read the information in the question and recognize that the nanograms is referring to the testosterone because that's the solute. And then the milliliters is referring to the blood serum, which is the solution. Okay, so then if we keep going with the question, how many grams of testosterone, so that's what we're trying to figure out, are present in 50 mils of the serum? All right, so this is where we start. So once we have been able to read this statement and create this concentration, it's important to think of it as a conversion factor. So there are 575 nanograms of te te testosterone equals one milliliter of blood serum. Now we can get busy and do our calculation. All right, so we have the blood serum and there's 50 milliliters. So it's very important now that we have the amount of blood serum, we have the volume unit, and we wanna make sure that we have the descriptor for what the heck it is this 50 milliliters is. It's the blood serum, it's the solution. Now, we want to get to grams of testosterone. So this concentration is the bridge. It connects the serum, the volume of the serum, to the mass of the solute, the testosterone. So we have milliliters of serum on the top. We're going to have milliliters of serum on the bottom so that they cancel out. And we know that every milliliter of serum has 575 nanograms of testosterone. So we've used our mass over volume concentration to convert out of serum and into testosterone. So we can cancel out the milliliters of serum, they're gone. So now we have nanograms of testosterone. Are we done? Let's look back and see what the question's asking. It's asking the grams of testosterone. So we're in nanograms. So we're going to need to do a unit conversion. There are 10 to the 9th nanogram in a gram. So here's our unit conversion. So now we've canceled out the nanograms of testosterone and we're left with grams. So we are um, in grams of testosterone. So our calculation setup is complete. Now we go ahead and plug the values into the calculator. And we get our result. And the calculator tells us 2.875 times 10 to the minus 5 grams of testosterone. And once we have finished the calculation, we step back and we evaluate the sig figs. So here, trailing zeros with a decimal, this will be three sig figs. Um, three sig figs here, three non-zeros. Um, the unit conversion is defined, so that means it's exact or infinite sig figs. So three sig figs is our worst result, our worst data. So that tells us, right, so one, two, it means the question mark is right here. So we're going to round up, so it would be 2.88 times 10 to the minus 5 grams, I should put that there, grams of testosterone. All righty. So there are... Um, there are two practice problems that we've worked together showing how to calculate mass over volume concentrations 
and then how to use and interpret mass volume um, concentrations in um, solving calculations. So please take time right now to work a couple more problems on your own through, from your homework so you can reinforce your understandings.